original uh, soup man on Seinfeld. Joining us right now, we're outside of Fox right now, looking at a new business uh, here. And joining us is Larry Thomas and Jameson Carson to talk about their new food truck that combines the original soup man with the grilled cheese truck. Good to see you, gentlemen. Thanks so much for being Thanks here. Thanks for having us. Well, this is, you know, I was just commenting that there's all these food trucks recently, and I'm seeing more and more of them, and I'm wondering, is this a new increasing business uh, that you're seeing gain popularity? Yes, indeed. Uh, it gives us a chance to take our two brands, Grilled Cheese Truck and the Original Soup Man, put them into a, a truck and or a cart in New York City. We're going to roll out a lot of carts. We're going to roll our, try to roll our first cart out on Veterans Day. And uh, it gives us a chance to also uh, put veterans to work because veterans are going to own and operate the, the, the mobile units. Larry, what, this character just, just keeps giving for you. <laughs> well, this is natural. I mean, I played Al, now I am Al. <laughs> it's like one big soup of reality spinning around. And Al's still involved with the business, yes. right? So he would rather you play him for public appearances than actually easier. have to do it himself? You know, get me out there. I'm used to it. I do this. Yes, Al, Al's uh, one of the foremost soup men in the country. And yeah. His soups are very complex, made with a lot of ingredients and spices. Um, so I know, and he's got quite the out. personality. I mean, <laughs> yeah. really. And Larry really portrayed him very well. But but the, uh, the original soup man has been a franchise that you have had for a couple of years now. Well, the business has existed since 1984. Uh, this business, this is our Tetra Recart Packs. This is the business that we are rolling out into all the supermarkets and grocery. Here in New York City, we're in every Fairway store. We're in Westside Markets. Nationally, we're in every Kroger's. But we also have our own stores. So our original Superman store is on 55th and 8th. Right. Uh, and we have other stores as well. Give us the economics of the food truck business. That's why I'm so fascinated by all of these. And there's a lot of different varieties of food that you can get on a food truck. Give me the ec economics of right. it. So historically, the average unit volume on food trucks for a grilled cheese truck has been in the $500,000 range sales. Uh, food costs run about 30%. Uh, labor runs uh, approximately 30 percent and um, you know there's a franchise fee uh, and uh, there's a fee for the truck for the cart or the truck uh, and the rest is profit. Franchise demand how is it in this economy? Franchise demand is excellent. Yeah I mean because the startup cost the the capital outlay up front is very very little so um, for us it's been great. Larry another entrepreneurial move for you? Yes. Tell me what you're working on. Well, um, what we're trying to do basically is is kind of give a face to the to the brand that people recognize, which is which is me. Uh, you're perfect. Although, <laughs> although. But you um, have to be mean to people. People uh, sometimes. Yeah. You know, <laughs> Tough job, you know, but somebody's got to do it. People want me to yell, "No soup for you!" Right. <laughs> but now it's soup for you because we want people to have this. But it's, it's just a, it's it's so natural that for years, so many years, people go, "Now are you the guy with the store on 50?" Or people just come up to me, and go, "You know, I, I was at your soup kitchen on 55th and 8th." <laughs> they don't know you're the actor. Yeah, and I go like, "Well." Okay, yeah, it's mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. So let's get, let's talk about the veteran connection. Um, right. These two gentlemen? Uh, not veterans. They, okay. But, but, th uh, but this is for jobs out, for veterans. Yes, correct. When we roll out our, our program, uh, whether it be carts or trucks, it'll be all veteran owned, owned and operated. Yeah. Very, very good. How many cities are you going to be in with the trucks so far? Do you have, like, give us yeah, a Yeah, so right now, uh, in our joint venture with Grilled Cheese Truck, we have 10 trucks operating mostly on the West Coast. This is our first venture into New York City, but this is going to be a cart, not a truck. Right. But as we roll out into other cities, we'll opportunistically do either carts or trucks, whatever is best. So, so differences between the cart and the truck? The carts are, it's, it's a it's lot. Obviously, it's a cart, we, we, I realize right. that. Right. It's, um, it's depending on local laws and what they allow and what's easier to get in. New York City, it's hard to get trucks, so we use the carts. And, and in terms of, that's a good point, because the regulation has to be very different depending on where you are. Right. In New York City, it is a, uh, for disabled veterans, um, it, they make it much easier for disabled okay. veterans to come into the business. So we see this fractured business, and uh, we think it's a real opportunity. What kind of growth are you expecting? 
It's all about our soup. You know, the soup is great. We think as long as our soup continues to be as great as it is, we're going to grow. What kind of soup is this? <laughs> exactly. All right, thank you. Okay. It's cold. Okay. I'm actually. What kind of soup is this? Try this. Lots we don't of use spoons wow. in okay. the south, so. <laughs> Lobster bisque may be our line? most amazing soup. Yeah. But all yes. the soup is really great. But the lobster bisque is what people taste and go like. It's, oh my God! Thank you. I have to sit down. We will enjoy this soup. Jamie, good to see you. Larry, thank always you. good to see you. Always thank you so much. That'll do.